Hello, I'm Jada Lam. Welcome to my channel, Trade Print and Me. In my channel, I'm talking about 3D modeling and also how to get your 3D prints to print on a 3D printer. So make sure you stay tuned to my channel, 3D Print and Me. Today, we are going to learn how to make 3D design on Tinkercad. First, we got to go to tinkercad.com. Okay, so we go here. To sign in is actually free and I already have an account. So let's go create new designs. So this is our work plane, which we put the things that you want to print. And for right click is to move around. And over here, which is at the right of the screen, we can see a lot of objects for you to make stuff. And over here, so this is actually the view of the work plane. We have the top, front, bottom, back, right, left and top. So today, we are doing something very simple, which is a name tag keychain. So the name tab is going to be flat, so we need this box and change it to the size we want. So we go down, then we can click this, put it 30, put it 3, okay. Then the long, we can just pull, then we change, which is 80, 8 cm, okay. Now this one, it's 30. So the top one, these are actually holes. And the bottom one is solid. If you want to use other things and the holes are not here, I'm going to show you on this one. So we usually, we just put it down. Then over here, we can change it to a hole. So now let's make it to the size we want we're gonna type it 5 and this one is 5 Pop. so that means the hole is only 5 mm and now to make it straight we just highlight this then we click this one which is a line Then we click the middle. So now it's aligned to the middle. Then to make a hole, we group. So we highlight them, which is left click. Then over here, we have glue. So we group them and we have a hole. To group is to make the two objects together. If it's a solid object and a solid object, it'll just make it become a bigger object. But if it's a hole and a solid object, it'll punch a hole. Now let's get our text to put our name. So this thing will go down. Then we'll put it here. We can pull it up or, well, okay, so when we pull it up or down, if we cannot see, we will just see the side, which is zero. That means it's not under the bit. Now, we can make the size. So, over here, it says text which means the thing that you're going to put inside so it's a name tag so i'm going to put my name this one you can put your name because this is your name tag and now we can see the size of your name if it's going up then we just make it smaller to stay inside oh 
I accidentally press the box. We can align it using the box also. Now let's click the text. So at the side here, we can see this, which is font. And when we click the side, we have all this, which is the look of the text. So when I click this, you see, it can change. And if I click the bottom one, it also can change. So I prefer this one because it fits. So the last step, which is grouping the name and the tag. Now that we have grouped them, it becomes an object. Okay, so now we got to put it in the middle. If you don't know where's the middle, we can actually do this. Click home, so it will come here. And then when we move, we can see these numbers. We will put zero. And here, zero. Now it's in the middle of the bit. Then up here, we have this thing, which is change the name. So I'll name it name tag. Now I have my project. So to go out, we just need to click the Tinkercad dashboard. So I have many projects that I created and this is the reason one that we created. We just click in to see. So at the side, we have Tinker This is to actually go in and edit it and download, which is we can download it and put in our printer. And if you want this file, so we can search and find it from my profile. This is a short introduction of Tinkercad and how to make your own 3D name tag. The next video, I'm gonna take this design and put it inside the 3D printer. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe and ring the bell. Bye bye.